Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to Merion Golf Club East Course in Ardmore, Pennsylvania. This is quite simply one of the best golf courses in the world. I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. This course was designed by the very talented Cleve. The course details are it is a par 70, fairways and greens are farmed, the green speeds are medium fast, weather is overcast and the time of day is noon. Let's check out the course settings. There are five tee options. We will be swinging from the championship tees, which are playing 6,998 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel, guys. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. This historic golf course offers risk rewards on nearly every single hole. So today with that win, we're certainly not taking this drivable par four on. We are just going to have to lay up. I'm going to try and fade this from left to right to the right hand side of the fairway. As you can see, I am playing as Tony Fee. Now, this is the first time I've actually played the game with this character. But that's a decent strike. But this course has hosted the US Open. The last time was 2013. I do believe Justin Rose was the winner. And he finished at plus one for his four rounds. The pros really struggled in this short bit tight and punishing golf course so let's see if we can pitch this one close don't want to be long hopefully leaving myself an uphill putt here that should bounce out firmly sat down instantly almost on that uphill slope nice expected a little bit of run out there but it does leave me an uphill putt for an open and birdie green speeds are 154 the greens are known to be notoriously tough around this venue but what a great start here we do pick up an open and birdie and we will move on to hole number two. Left it's a tight tee shot here. But this par five certainly reachable in two if we can find the fairway. I'm trying to draw this against the wind, find the center off the fairway. Tiny fast, I need to tighten up my swing line. I just do not know what it is with this game, guys. My swing line can be straight. Other times it can just be horrible and I feel like I'm using the same technique. But this is a tough approach shot. Got to get this right. Plenty of hazards are Ryan. I'm going to try and land this short in the green and kick it up. That swing line's cost me. This is probably going to kick right into the bunker or the heavy rough. It is the heavy rough. Fortunately, I've got a lot of green to work with here. Just going to apply full backspin to the chip. Try and get it releasing out onto the green. That very fast is going to ensure I'm going to be on the left-hand side of the cup. That ball can check up any time now. But what a great start to the round. This should be our second birdie. And if you gave me that prior to tee off, that we would be two under through two around this notoriously short but difficult course, I would have took your hand off. So hole number three, this is a really tough par three. Really in between clubs here. So going to try and draw this, add a little bit of loft, play the wind and get this running up towards the pin. Now that's turning beautifully. This is on a really good line. This could well go in if it sits down. Get in the hole. <laughs> oh, why? Wow. I thought we had another ace there. So unlucky. I have been left with a six foot putt. A little bit of turn in this one. But three consecutive birdies to start things off here. What a fantastic start. This really is a magnificent golf course, needs no introduction. Let's try and fade this against the wind. Take it down the right-hand side. Fairway clearly kicks from right to left. There's a far superior swing light. This is another risk-reward hole. There's not many players will take this green on in two. We do have the, the stream, the creek, the river, whatever you want to call it, in play here. It's a very favourable wind. I'm convinced this free iron gets there. Let's take it on. And hopefully we are rewarded. It's a lovely strike. We're certainly going to find the dance floor. There is a backstop. Is this ball going to sit down? It's a nice kick. It's a nice bounce. And it has sat down fairly quickly. It is going to leave me an eagle opportunity. So 24 feet down 5 inches. There is going to be a lot of movement from left to right due to the, the downhill 
aspect that is part. I've not hit it firm enough. I'll tell you now, it's on a good line. It's on a really good line. As soon as that ball left the face of the putter, I just knew I didn't hit it firm enough. But we do pick up the second best prize, which is a birdie. I'm really happy with the start we've made to this round. Four under through four. This course known as the toughest, shortish golf course on the world. Once again, drawn this against the wind. That is a perfect. That's going to find the right-hand side. Slight push to my swing line there. And hopefully this stays in play. It's going to leave me a long second shot in. This is a tough par four. 10 mile per hour wind. Certainly going to help me out here though. Don't want to be on the left hand side of this pin. So playing for the right centre of the green. That tiny slow is going to punish me. That ball is going to leak over to the right hand side. It should work out well. We are certainly going to be pin high. It's a decent outcome. We had a lot of calculations going on there. The wind. Horrible lie at my feet. Let's see if we can drain this putt for another birdie and keep this streak going. Oh, I've not read that well enough. Totally misjudged that putt. Nowhere near the line. But it is going to be a tap-in solid par, which I do convert. So our first par of the round keeps me at four under. But I think there's only two par fives in this course, guys. None on the back nine. The back nine really is notorious. If you're playing par golf on the back nine, you're doing well. There's a far superior strike, and with that tiny fade, that is going to work out superbly for me. But like I said at the start of the video, this is my first time playing as PGA Tour Pro Tony Finau. Really enjoying it, actually. The style of play is attributes to stats kind of suit my style. Don't want to be short here. I'm going to try and run this up the slope on the left-hand side. That 10-mile-per-hour wind should comfortably bring me back round as well just applied a little bit of top spin that's a really good strike why wow, that ball is just going left and staying left i didn't think it was that bad of a strike this is now a delicate chip shot i don't see how we get this stopping this ball is going to run past the flag a good five six feet just try to feather this out here use the slope it's going to miss on the right hand side it's going to leave me a, a makeable par putt. I don't think I could have played that much better other than it dropping in the hole for the chip in birdie. But an uphill putt, turning from right to left. Surely this turns. It's another fantastic par putt. It keeps me at four under. But what a fantastic version of this course that Cleve has designed here. Really enjoying it. I think he's one of the the better designers in the game, if not the best, especially when it comes to RCRs and LiDAR versions of golf courses. He always delivers. So let's try and fade this against the wind. We certainly want to find the right-hand side of this fairway. The bounce is going to be in the hands of the gods because this ball is going to kick hard left. Okay. Hitting the ball well so far. That's a really favourable bounce. If that holds the fairway... That is a fantastic golf shot. A lot of luck involved there, because like I said, the bounce was in the hands of the gods. Let's see if we can flop this one close. Aiming right, because I normally play a fast. That's a big fast, though. That's coming up a little bit short. That should have been better. This is not the easiest of putts. There is a lot of turn here, especially the last two feet. At least it's uphill. Don't want to run this too far by either. We've got the weight. Is it going to turn? It does turn. It's another fantastic putt. I do pick up my fifth birdie of the round. And we move on to hole number eight. Now, this is drivable. I think we can get there. At worst, it's going to be bunker. Let's try and draw this around the tree line. I'm just going to actually take a practice swing here. Something I rarely do. Now, if we can repeat that, we're on to a winner here. Like I say, bunker's not the worst of outcomes. 101%. It's a really nice strike. No, it is going to be bunker. It is going to be bunker. Close to getting on the green. It was a good effort. The majority of these par fours are risk-reward holes. But at the same time, a poorly 
executed shot off the tee box is going to put you in a world of bother. That's a lovely shot, and that's left me nothing more than a tap-in birdie, which is going to put me to six under par. What a fantastic front nine. Really, really happy with how I'm playing the course so far. But like I said, the back nine, it's a different kettle of fish. No par fives. And look at this for a par three. Absolutely exquisite. This truly is a remarkable golf course. And I cannot thank the Cleave enough for producing this, for us to play on this game. Such a thrill to play it. So fading this against the wind, playing for the right-hand side of the pin. Oh, it's a tiny slope. It's going to get there, but it's going to leave me a nasty uphill part. That swing line kind of helped me out with the, the swing timing there. Yeah, this is going to be a nasty uphill putt. A lot of movement from left to right. 40 feet out. One foot uphill. Just try to get this close. Set up the par putt. I didn't play it high enough. Didn't play high enough. Good weight to it. But it is going to be a pretty straightforward putt from five feet out. Forward apart, tiny little bit of movement in it, but we do convert it. And what a solid front nine, six under. I really didn't expect that. But this is where the course kind of kicks back. The back nine, really tough stretch of holes. But this is a drivable par four, three wood with a little bit of drop. We may end up in the bunker here, just long off the green. That's a lovely strike. I couldn't have hit that much better. Please get down. If this holds the green, which I don't think it will, it'll be remarkable. What a golf shot, guys. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure to smash the subscribe button because you really are seeing a master class in ball striking here. Long may it continue. Hopefully we can chip this in for the eagle. It's got a chance. That has to turn left. It didn't turn at all. I'm sure the grid showed it was going to turn. Very slight. But it's a remarkable birdie after a great... Reward an aggressive tee shot. I do move to seven under par. Hole number 11. Going to have to lay up here. Certainly cannot take that on. I would need double figure wins behind me to even contemplate it. And even then it's a tiny green. So let's just lay up with the three iron. Take this down the right hand side. Wind will move us from right to left. But this is without a doubt the best version of the Merian East golf course I have played on any golf game, guys. It is. It's just remarkable. But this is a tough approach shot. Hazards are all on the left-hand side. That wind really wants to take me over there. Let's play the lob wedge. A little bit of deal off. A lot of top spin. Play the wind and hopefully find the pin. Not with that fast in that pool. That's going to be bunker bound. And that is nasty. I've got very little green to work with here. Fortunately, there's no horrible slopes. We can fully attack this. It should sit down pretty quickly once it lands with all the, the backspin I have applied. It's a good out. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. It's a remarkable bunker shot. Really happy with that. My scrambling today when it's been required has been on point. It's another solid par. It keeps us at seven under. And we are now going to move on to hole number 12. Oh, that's a weird trajectory the camera took. But let's try and fade this to the left-hand side of the fairway. The fairway clearly kicks from left to right. Just need to avoid a slow, which we've done. The fade really is kicking well. This ball will kick hard right. And that should leave me nothing more than a pitch shot into this elevated green. So I do have a 14 mile per hour wind behind me, 65 yards, up 10 feet. I'm going to be in between yardages here. I wonder if a flop shot's the option. Can we deal off that? No. I think let's pitch it. I'm going to have to play a lot of loft and full backspin though, because that wind is really going to affect the yardage. Slope at my feet's going to move me right. Great execute. Oh, that ball's died. 96% power. I don't think it was really due to that. I think it was with the, 
the loft and the backspin I applied there, just not really playing with Tony Fien out enough to get a feel for the shots, and that's costly. That's poor. That should have been up there on the dance floor. It's a great chip, which is going to leave me the, the par save. But disappointed with that approach shot. It wasn't a purely executed shot. Just my calculations were way off. It's another solid par, though. And it keeps me at seven under. But really enjoying my time out here on this incredible golf course. Look at this for a par three. Hazards everywhere. I'm in between clubs again. That's too long. I'm going to have to try and draw this with full backspin. This could go horribly wrong. I couldn't hit that any better. There's a draw kicking in. This is going to be right on point. What a fantastic golf shot, guys. We really are putting on an approach shot masterclass at times today. Really happy with that. I am playing on master swing difficulty. So the fact that I'm executing some of these shots, I'm absolutely over the moon with. So eight under par, and this is such a tight tee shot. Very little fairway to work with. We are going to have to try and draw this to the left-hand side of the fairway. It's a tiny fast. Is this going to kick right, though? Is it going to stay in play? No, golfing God's not on my side there. We are sadly in the heavy rough. We can pitch this, though. Let's see if we can get creative here. Let's pitch it. Gap wedge. Not the best of lies. A good bit of top spin. A little bit of deal off. And let's see if we can get this running up from the front of the green. It's a good execution. Is it going to sit, though? I've played that really, really well, considering the location we were in and what we had to deal with. It's left me a birdie putt, albeit a testing one. Quite a lot of movement in this, the last two or three feet. I've not hit that far enough. Totally under hit that. Never had the read neither. That's a poor putt. The greens do offer a real test round. This historic venue, I remain at eight under par. Closing few holes now. Let's try and overpower this down the left-hand side. 102% power. That's going to work out well. But this course really has everything a player looks for. Beauty, history, variation, and most importantly, a real challenge. It really is a thinking man's golf course. It's one of these courses where you just can't be a big hitter and hope for the best. That's a fantastic pitch shot. That is going to set me up for another birdie that hopefully we can convert. This would put me to nine under par. That's a far better putt. That is my third birdie of the back nine. And we move on to hole number 16. It's another tight fairway here. There's no reward for hitting driver. Let's just pull back with the fitty wood. Try and find that bottleneck. That's a lovely strike. The fade turning in ideally as well. And that is going to leave me a nice approach shot into the wind. Well, the wind's actually changed. It's a crosswind. Oh, we don't want to be short here. Got to make sure we carry that defending slope. This is a tough shot because I'm having to apply a lot of loft and backspin here. Gauge the wind. Now, that's a beauty. That wind should float me around. Now, this ball should sit down pretty quickly as well with a loft and backspin. What a fantastic approach shot. Really happy with my approach shot today. Really happy with my overall game. I mean, a lot of people will look at the yardage here, just playing under 7,000 yards and think, ah, this is an easy course. It's not. We've been playing in high double-figure wins. And the fact that I'm 10 under on master difficulty is quite an achievement. Really in between clubs here, but let's try and deal off and apply a good bit of topspin to three iron. That's dead. I needed to avoid the slow. 
Really good strike too. That's going to be bunker bound. You had to be left of that pin. Obviously didn't play for the slow. It was just unlucky, unfortunate. Don't have to rely on my short game here to get up and down for the par. That should run out. Come on, keep running. It's another brilliant bunker shot. Really happy with my overall game today. But what a course this is to play, guys. I'm absolutely buzzing playing it. Such a joy to play. But the final hole, it really is a difficult hole. Need to take this down the center of the fairway. Oh, it's a slow. We're going to get away with that, though, because the fairway does kick left. That's going to leave me a lot of work to do into this elevated green note. I'm not going to lie at my feet as well. Yeah, this is around the, uh, 190 mark. Seven mile per hour wind, 188 yards. Let's deal off seven iron here. Slope at my feet is going to take me way. Oh, there's a pool on a tiny fast. It could well be bunker. Had the yardage to. Hmm, a little off on that, approach, but that is going to leave me a makeable chip shot. Just going to be fully aggressive. This should run out a good bit coming out of the heavy rough. Let's attack it. Hopefully get it on a good line and have the legs. It's a good shot. Didn't run out as much as I expected. And this is a missable putt, sadly. Would hate to finish with a bogey. It's turning right at my feet and then hopefully back towards the hole. It's done exactly that. But why, what a remarkable round on a remarkable golf course. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.